over Oklahoma today to honor the nation's war dead. One of the largest took place at the 45th Infantry Division Museum. That's in Oklahoma City. News 9's Gan Matthews was there. Flags, music, ceremony, and of course hundreds of veterans. The 45th always observes Memorial Day in a big way. Those who came know what Memorial Day is all about. And those who didn't come, do they remember? The Adjutant General of Oklahoma wonders about that. Surprisingly, many citizens of this great country, the United States of America, either do not realize why we observe this national day or choose to ignore it. Has Memorial Day been drained of its meaning by an indifferent public? We talked to some veterans who say, while that may have been true in the past, the times are changing. Voice Maribel says recent events have made a difference. I think the continuing service of our, our guys in uh, foreign theaters right now. Uh, it's, you know, they should be home, but uh, they have to do, you know, that to keep us safe. Former Tinker Commander Richard Burpee was a fighter pilot in Vietnam when anti-military sentiment ran high. He saw something different at an airport recently. And I heard everybody clapping and applauding, and I looked up on the uh, up on the veranda area, and there was a whole group of soldiers that had just been come back from Iraq. The crowd at the 45th applauded too, showing its devotion to those who gave the last full measure. Gan Matthews, News Network. We all appreciate it so much. Today's ceremony at the 45th included the unveiling of a new Bill Malden stamp. Malden, a member of the 45th, gained fame with his World War II Willie and Joe cartoons, which you can see they're on display at the museum.